Future market basics. You know, there's it's a financial market where investors can buy and sell contracts to buy an asset at a predetermined price on a future date. They're traded on exchanges. They're used by a variety of investors, market participants, where you're going to speculate about the future price. I believe this will be worth more money or less. And so you do all this to, to really to sit down there and, and have a hedge against a risk or generate income out of it. You really, it's an agreement between two parties to buy or sell. And then the buyer of the contract is obligated to buy the asset at the strike price. Strike one. Yes. No, oh, that's that different kind of strike. All right. Anyway, and the expiration date, the seller is obligated to sell the asset at the strike price. You settle them two ways. Physically, yes, you must give me that money now. Well, not really. It's not how you do it. But anyhow, so that being said, or with cash. So you, between the two of them, you exchange the underlying asset on the expiration date. A couple ways, future contracts, you get them in commodities, which are physical things like gold, wheat, corn, oil, something like that. So you bet on the future of that commodity is going to be. Pork belly, you too can buy your pork belly this week. What about you? What do you Yeah, you have that aspect of it, but it's also oil or gold or whatever. You have something physicality involved. But usually you hear about it, it really the aspect of futures in regards to stock indexes, interest rates, currencies, financial assets. So the people that buy them, we call them speculators because it's speculative because all this stuff is higher risk than stocks and bonds. You're using the bet on the future price of an asset. You hope that they profit by buying future contracts. They believe the price of the asset will go up, selling futures in the process. You're going to hedge. By, by a hedger, they use the futures contract to protect themselves against risk. They take a risk over here. They take the opposite risk over here. They're hedging their bets, so to speak. For example, a farmer might sell future contracts on corn. Okay, I'm certain they always have a kernel of logic behind that one. Okay, they lock in a price for their crop before they harvest it. Okay, arbitrators, they use future contracts to profit by small price discrepancies between two different markets. They may buy here and buy here, and that way they can hedge it this way and, and also bounce out their portfolio. And sometimes you get the aspect of the leverage. You can draw a large amount of the underlying asset with really a small amount of investment and the aspect of, okay, I believe this stock, it costs $1,000, but I'm going to buy this for $10. Okay, and it's a future call. Okay, you have and that's how it works, actually. So you look on the future contracts through, uh, about liquidity. You can they, they move relatively fast. There's a high degree of liquidity in the entire market for futures. Then it makes it easy to buy and sell them quickly in efficiency. And you have also the price discovery. The futures market plays a big role because people are betting and they're anticipating the price will go up or down. And there's a lot of money involved in trading on the aspect of the liquidity of it and what the price is going to be. And the leverage... It can amplify the profits, amplify the losses, it just depends where it's at. And then you have the volatility. Prices can fluctuate wildly and the futures, you can go up, you can go down. The cute little screen on the right hand side, it goes down. Yes, and that could be you too, down there, down in the dumps. Okay, so, and, and margin calls. If you're out there and, and like a lot of people in futures, you're actually buying on margin and others getting a loan from your from your broker. And all of a sudden they say, yo, you need to pay up, pay up now or we'll liquidate all your assets and keep your money and your house and your firstborn child. Yes, they'll do all that stuff. And the margin call all of a sudden, boom. And all of a sudden you're down to whatever if they had a margin call in the process. So the futures market, it's complex, it's sophisticated, but can have a lot of different benefits in the aspect of hedging your bets as to up and down and everything else. And also you can control assets that you can't afford to buy. You might not be able to afford a hundred shares of a stock at a hundred thousand, at a thousand dollars a share, but you'd be able, you could buy a uh, hundred uh, puts or calls on that if you want to in the aspect at a much cheaper rate and still have the control of the actual value of the asset by the time it's all done. So it's a really interesting market, and you have to study it and experiment really in the process. Experiment before you dive headfirst into it because it could be disastrous, or, and sometimes you're better off doing some day trading with it for a while before you get the hang of it. So in conclusion, it's risky, it's speculative, it's like a giant roller coaster, and sometimes some roller coasters, people have a problem on the downturn. By the time it's done, as they scream and they yell, and who knows what else they might do and everything. So you too could be in that 
terror going up or a down and the thrill or terror, maybe all at the same breath or two breaths in a row. Futures markets. Take care.